that was a very good meal like i'm fully full <laughs> i'm so full so now we are going to the yerevan history museum the museum talks mostly about the city but we are going there mainly for learning about the modern history and right now we are passing by a school so all uh, yerevani <laughs> kids are here they are going back home after school yeah see the the houses where i think this also is a partially residential, residential neighborhood area. you can see some very pretty leaves and vines everything is so green in the caucasus just green trees and pink buildings that's yerevan So here in the parks of Yerevan, we are seeing the locals just sitting on a park bench, sipping coffee in the middle of the weekday. This is something we would never see in India. It's it's so nice to see that they are so relaxed. Now we have made it to the Blue Mosque. Let's go in. So while Armenia is a Christian country, it's also important to note that they haven't restricted anybody else from following their or practicing their own religions. And the best evidence of that is this blue mosque. Uh, it's a mosque from probably the Turkish times, and everything looks very beautiful. It's maintained very nicely, and the colors here, the architecture here reminds us of it's what we've seen. Here. So very beautiful garden also in front. and a lot of people a lot of us yeah, and this is the museum So we are right now walking towards a metro station to just go on a little ride on the city's metro but then we notice something very odd we are right now on a main street where there is parking available for cars but it looks like it's not just one line of cars there's up to four lines of parking which is like double double parking like quadruple parking it's so weird i don't otherwise well organized city i don't even i can't even imagine how the the guy in the innermost lane is going to exit cuz he has to ask three other people at least to move to get so the car crazy. out oh we see somebody playing music using glass bottles <laughs> Land. 
ke satu zon buat kan. The cup is fifty. Yeah. The cup is fifty, and I don't know which one it 100, is. Hundred, one fifty. It's all different language. Uh, chocolate, chocolate. Is it? Okay, so do you want to try it? Chocolate. Chocolate with milk or chocolate without milk? With milk, please. How do you know what they deserve to translate? First, I'll put the coin. Okay. Cup, cup. Should I pull it out? I think it's still filling, right? Okay. Selected drink, please wait. Preparing. Okay. Drink ready. Take. And it even spat out some change. Ah, that's so cool. So it gave me two fifty back. So cool. A chocolate. Hmm. Not very strong, but it's really nice. So this is the metro station. Where do you go, my friend? Okay, let's go. <coughs> For two seconds, you have to hold. Okay, go. Okay, thank you. Ah, this no? Ah, okay. Crossing the road of the zebra crossing. Once we swiped the card and entered, just as the escalator started to move down, the security guard stopped us and told, no videographing, no camera allowed. So we put our cameras in our bag. That was pretty much it. Yeah. The metro looks no different from the other metros we have used in the in the Neighboring Central countries. Asian region. Yeah. So it's something on my eye. Ow. So, so it looks pretty identical, except that the trains here are definitely still the old ones. Yeah. They've not yet replaced it with the newer trains. The train we went on had only two coaches, so it was really small. And it was definitely a very old one because it it felt like we were definitely in the 80s or 90s. Um, now we are out of the metro station and we are just walking towards France Square. And the reason why we're going there right now is because. Because, because, thank you. At six o'clock, okay. English seven, seven, okay, okay, thank you. Oh, number seven, let's go. Wow, we get to choose our seat. Thank you. So we've just got on the red bus and this one is also free because we use the Erevan card. And this bus apparently does like a two hour drive through the city yeah. center and they show you all of the monuments. 
and uh, when we checked with the staff at Yerevan Card, they told us that six o'clock and nine o'clock are the two best uh, time slots, and both are in the evening. And All now it's still sunny as we are on the tour. I think the sun will set, and we also get to see a little bit of the dark. The six o'clock tour is for two hours, and it's like a guided tour, so they show you all the important places in the city. Whereas the nine o'clock tour is more of like a relaxing, just a one-hour tour without any guide. It's just going to be music playing, and then you get to see the entire city at night. So the the nice part about doing that tour is that you get to see the whole city come out in lights. But if you do the six p.m. one, there's a chance that you might get to see both, yep. you know, and also get to hear about it. So that's why you pick six p.m. And now we are here. We beat the rest of the crowd by coming here at five thirty. So we're the first ones on the bus, and also we're very tired. So we're gonna just sit here and rest. And hopefully, in uh, about thirty minutes, we'll be on the move. Yeah, I've not carried any jacket. I'm just worried we get really cold in an hour. So Shish is going to chill. <laughs> So this tour will be in Russian as well as in English. So they gave us these headphones and told us to press on number seven for the English guided tour. So the channels play out of this device here. So you plug in the earphones through this or through the extension jack, and then you tune into number seven, and that's how you listen to the audio tour in English. These tours are like very underrated because most people think it's a very touristy thing. But just look at it this way: you get like an elevated seat. You're sitting on top and looking at the entire city as somebody else is driving you around, and there's also somebody talking to you, telling you about the place. Yeah, I think it's best if you do such a tour on your first day in a country. This way, you get to see all the important things, and also you get to learn about the country. And this will also help you familiarize yourself with the city, and you can pick the best sites that you want to see in more detail the next day. So the bus has just started. We can feel the vibrations, <laughs> <laughs> and the radio also went on just now, so we can hear lounge music. And we're waiting for the bus to start moving, but it looks like there's only one other passenger right now. So we didn't really had to <laughs> rush and touch the seat. It's jazz. In case you're wondering what lounge music.
uh, it just goes to show that I think uh, no, it doesn't go to show anything. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> and we are sharing one earphone wire because Shish is feeling lonely. She doesn't want to be alone in her other pair. <laughs> That's called Kitapati. Don't you agree?